love cartoons. I loved them when I was a kid, and I still love them even as an adult. The fact that I can admit that proves how much animation has been elevated and respected as an art form. Once upon a time, cartoons were considered only for children. They were something to show kids in order to distract, and certainly not something to be taken seriously, especially by adults. You watched cartoons as a kid, and once you grew up, you just stopped watching them. Nowadays, respectability hasn't changed, and cartoons are watched and appreciated by both children and adults alike. And why not? As an art form, animation is ripe with unlimited potential for storytelling that far exceeds that of any other art form. Sure, in recent years, live action has pushed the boundaries of what can be portrayed on film and even television. However, even then, live action remains constrained by physical real-life limitations. Animation has no such limitations. As long as you can draw it, you can animate it. Anything is possible in animation, and as such, animation brings with it endless possibilities. That's certainly been true since the dawn of animation, but it's proven especially true in recent years. Technological advancements have allowed for more gorgeous visuals with more vivid colors and stylized art designs. Modern animation has also advanced in storytelling, with more complex stories, deeper characters, and even more mature themes, topics, and issues, many of which were once considered too adult for children's animation, but now are not only explored and portrayed in ways that even children can understand, but are often considered better handled than in most adult media. If anything, this all proves that animation carries with it the potential to transcend culture, language, even generational barriers. Like, it really does say something that a preschool show like Bluey is not only enjoyed by young children, and even by the parents who watch the show with them, but also by a surprising number of adults who don't even have kids. And of course it goes without saying, animation has grown more diverse in its representation, with characters and stories representing different races, ethnicities, mental and social conditions, and even gender and sexual identities. Again, once upon a time, this all would have been considered unheard of. Oh sure, there's going to be certain people complaining about how all this makes cartoons these days too political or woke, but if anything, it proves that animation is becoming more mature as a medium, being able to better and more accurately portray the real world and all the diverse beauty and splendor it has to offer. Cartoons these days aren't just kid stuff. Animation is a real respected art form with boundless potential for different stories, deeper stories, mature stories, and more diverse stories. And as a storyteller, that's something I can respect. Like I said before, I love cartoons. I love the stories they have to tell, and I appreciate how many of them help inspire my own stories, which is why I want to create a review series talking about them, where I talk about some of my favorite animated shows and some of the more notable episodes. Now, yes, a grown man like myself talking about cartoons, that's not at all unique here on YouTube. A lot of grown men talk about cartoons, as well as women and people of other gender identities. But what makes these reviews unique is that, well, they'll be made by me. At the very most, it'll be portraying my own perspective on the shows and episodes I love, and it'll give me the opportunity to discuss them. I have a few reviews already planned under my belt, and I'll be releasing them real soon. So be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned as I'll be sharing and discussing some of my favorite good tunes. Thank you.